Hey there, welcome to Sin Seeker. My name is Luke. Today we're going to look at uh, two patches, actually. I'm going to disassemble patches, which I do once in a while, uh, and I've never done on these since. We're going to look at the um, Minimoog Model D, which is what's playing this bass part. Uh, and we're going to look at uh, the Matriarch uh, playing this uh, sort of synced lead. Both of them are um, analog synths, and we're taking them into the computer and we're processing them uh, with some effects as we're going along. Okay, so here's our panel. Let's talk about, let's go backwards. Let's talk about the effects that are uh, going on here. So uh, we're running it uh, into Ableton, sort of a roll in space echo emulation. That's the Ableton stock echo. All right, that's doing ping pong delays left and right. They're dotted eighths, right? We like the duckus, duck and duck and duck stuff, which is when you play eighth notes with a dotted eighth delay. All right, you get that sort of bouncing back and forth double time feel. Um, and really the only uh, thing that processing within the uh, delay that's going on is the frequency, the upper end and the lower end of the frequencies are being constrained by the filter here. Um, so it, so as it echoes, it sort of fades out with that old style radio tone. Um, we are also using uh, this Roland emulation from Arturia, the chorus dimension D. Actually, let's take these apart. Let's take them off here. So if we turn off the delay, There is just the Moog with the chorus. Here it is with no chorus. Right, the mini Moog is um the is a mono instrument, so I like to spread it out just a little bit. Right, and really that's it. Um, I've got an ARP running there, so when I'm playing it on the push, it, uh, it arpeggiates my eighth notes. You hear the filter opening, but my hand's not touching the filter knob. So let's talk about this patch. Uh, I'm going to flip over to the uh, patch diagram, uh, the annotated, annotated diagram. So uh, follow along, if you like, in whatever it is you're using, your Behringer Model D or your Mini Moog uh, virtual instrument. Um, basically, what we've got going on here uh, is uh, the, the oscillators are spread out, basically. So we've got... Um, the oscillator three is at 16 feet, so it's the low end, right? Oscillator one's at eight feet, an octave above that. And oscillator two is at four feet, an octave above that. So we're playing all three oscillators layered three octaves apart. And then oscillator two at the four foot length is also up. Uh, it's up seven semitones, uh, which <laughs> shows you <laughs> my tuning, uh, the tuning relative to the dial, um, the marks on the dial is not super accurate <laughs> on this model, and I don't think it was on any of the other models, but yeah, maybe. Um, so you want to do it by hand, tune it into a fifth. Um, so it sounds like a power chord, okay? There, and I'll give you an example. Let's turn off three and this. And so here's just oscillator one and oscillator two. You hear that? You can bring it down.
All right, so oscillator two is, is tuned up a fifth and then raised an octave. All right, and then oscillator three is down an octave. Okay, then we've also got overload on and it's at eight, so we're seeing a little bit of overloading coming through periodically. Okay, so that's the oscillator setup. All right. Um, and then here's your mixer settings, basically. You can look at the dots on the dial. We're not using any noise, okay? Um, now, what you're hearing is the filter is being modulated. This switch is on, uh, filter modulation, right? So the filter is being modulated by one of the oscillator, uh, well, one of the modulation sources. On this model of Minimoog, I've got it set so that it's being oscillated by the LFO, okay? So my dial's all the way over to noise LFO. My noise LFO switch is on LFO, okay? And then I've got my mod wheel up about halfway. And this is, you can, um, you can change how dramatic the filter sweep is by doing this. And it's a really slow uh, uh, triangle wave filter sweep. Now, if your mini Moog doesn't have an extra LFO, to oscillate your, excuse me, to modulate your frequency cutoff with, that's okay. Do it, um, you know, with external CV, or if you're in software, do it with external modulation, any kind of parameter um, source you want, right? If you're in Bitwig, there's tools for that. If you're in Ableton, there's tools for that. In, in any DAW that you're working with a virtual instrument, you're gonna be able to modulate the frequency cutoff and just modulate it very slowly, so. Coming up. Okay. And that's it. I mean, it's a really simple patch. As far as the filter is concerned, you're right, our cutoff frequency is relatively low. There is some uh, resonance, and our contour amount is there, right? So I'm setting, here's the settings on the dial. It's on the diagram. Um, set them appropriately, right? We have a slow attack, um, sort of a 600 millisecond ish delay, and then sustain levels almost halfway. All right. And then your VCA is really just no attack, a little bit of decay, and a lot of sustain. All right. um, and this is a really useful patch, right? You can do you can do octaves. Let me drop everything in octave here. Let me turn off the delay too. Um, I like this timbre. I use it a lot. Um, and that's really the breakdown. So I'm not sure what I would call this. You can put in the comments what you think this bass should be called. If you're going to name this patch, what's it called? Um, all right, now let's talk about the matriarch patch that we heard earlier. Okay, so here's our uh, matriarch patch. Uh, so so there's a lot going on here. Well, <laughs> relatively speaking, there's a lot going on here compared to the mini mode. But processing wise, we've got this Valhalla sort of black hole delay. You can hear that ringing out sort of in the background. Um, Turn that off. Now we've got, got some room ambience going on here. A little, I like this wooden room reverb uh, that uh, Ableton is part of the stock library. I just, just tweak it a little bit. Um, but that provides a nice room ambience. Uh, then again, I'm using the uh, Ableton Echo device. Doing a nice ping pong. Now this is doing quarter notes. 
uh, and I'm not using the stereo delay in the uh, in the matriarch, but it sounds really great if you do turn it up. It's just that it gets a little thick. Um, I'll just leave it on for the rest of the demo because we're not hearing it in context with the other stuff, so it's not too thick. Uh, but if I turn off the echo, right, that's pure stereo delay. And there's some phaser going on here as well. I'll turn that off. All right, so this is the bare patch with no processing, right? So it's still, it sounds great. hearing if I turn off the stereo delay okay so what's happening well we've got one oscillator being synced oscillator 4 uh, is being synced when you sync two oscillators together you want to modulate the pitch of one of them to give you that sync sound right so in this example oscillator 4 is being synced to oscillator 3. Although oscillator 3 is turned off, we're not hearing it, we're just hearing oscillator 4, as well as oscillator 1 and 2. All right. So if I turn off oscillator 1 and 2, this is purely oscillator 4. All right, so it's, it's very synky sounding, but it's also kind of shrill. So we sort of mellow it out by adding uh, two oscillators, both of them playing triangle waves, right? And their volume's pretty much maxed out, right? So oscillators one, two, and four are all maxed. That's overdriving the, uh, the mixer a bit. All of the modulation that's happening in here, what you're hearing, right? You're hearing the sync pitch be, be uh, modulated, and you're also hearing the filter frequency is actually warbling, wah, 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 and slows down over time. Let me exaggerate it a bit. I'm going to um, slow it down. You'll hear it come in and then go out. So can you hear that? The filter frequency like slowly started warbling and then slowed down. All right. Okay. Well, it's all, it's all based on the filter envelope. All right. So we're taking the envelope out. The envelope is doing its thing. It's controlling the filter, right? But we're taking that envelope out. We're splitting it in this malt into two things. And what it's doing is one of them is going to the frequency of oscillator four, the pitch in on that. All right. Um, and then the other one is going to the speed of the LFO, and the LFO is modulating the filter frequency. So if we slow down this envelope, so this envelope is going to rise and fall, you're going to hear the pitch rise, the sync pitch rise and fall, as well as the speed of the LFO that's vibrating the filter frequency rise and fall. So that's how this patch works. Now, on a Moog, in order for your modulation to come through, you have to have the, the uh, mod wheel up. So if I go back and I turn these things on, let's give it some delay. Let's take the attack back down so I can treat it like a lead. We'll up the mod on the mod wheel just a little bit. Let's go back into Ableton and turn our effects back on. Some phaser. The space echo. The room ambience. And then the deep space reverb.
right? And this also sounds good when you slow the uh, slow the attack down as well. So that is a animated synced <laughs> space patch. <laughs> I don't know. Again, put what you would think this patch should be named in the comments. Uh, and so I hope that's useful for you. This is something that I'm going to be using to make a jam with. Uh, you'll probably see that in a day or two. And uh, anyway, so there's two patches disassembled for you. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was useful. And uh, as always, you've been watching Sid Seeker. Have a great week.